All right, guys. Well, good to have you all with us. Let's get this started. Welcome, great. Welcome to our children's nutrition webinar this evening. Um, it's great to have you with us today. We are going to be talking kids nutrition. We have a wonderful guest online with us, Liz Gietz. Liz Gietz is a dietitian. She is an absolute nutrition authority, and it's just wonderful to have her with us. And she's going to be zoning in today on our children. And I know that we have a bunch of guests with us, people that are joining us for the first time this evening. Great to have you online tonight. Um, Neil Life has been producing whole food nutrition for the last 62 years. I don't believe there is another company on the planet that does nutrition like Neil Life, Neil Life does nutrition. And we have a goal. We just want to take all this hype and the confusion and the fads and the misinformation out of the nutrition world and out of the supplement market. And we just want to give families like your, you and I good, solid information and nutrition that will plug your dietary gaps because we know that we have been blessed with amazing bodies. Your kids have been blessed with amazing bodies, but we really need to play our part in this equation and we need to feed our body, bodies with the right nutrition, the right nutrients, because our bodies are in fact designed to live with health and vitality, not with sickness not with lack of energy and all the other things that are going on in the world. So good to have you with us. Um, so we're going to zone in this evening and talk about your children and to the very special ladies that are online with us that are pregnant. We're going to also spend a little bit, bit of time on you talking about your kids that are still making their way into this world. Um, Liz Getz, are you with us? Can you just unmute yourself and let's turn on your video so we can take a look at you. Okay. Good evening, Liz. Welcome to the call. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Right. So, well, our mission at Neolife is, you know, is to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And so, I guess a good place to start is with our children. And you, you might be asking the question, well, do I need to supplement? You know, well, why do I? And if so, why should I be making Neolife my family's nutritional home? And I hope as we go through the the presentation tonight and chat about things that we'll be able to answer that question for you quite emphatically. So our, our philosophy is based in nature and backed by science. And we, we, we have a scientific advisory board. In fact, you have a scientific advisory board who works for you. And they are the people who conceptualize all the products, do all the research and development. And I just wanted to just uh, introduce them to you because it's, it's a very important and distinct feature, a near life difference, if you like, in the industry. Um, and Dr. Arthur First, who was the founding member of the Scientific Advisory Board, was an eminent scientist in his time, a toxicologist, a cancer researcher. And, but his passion was prevention, not just to try and cure something or to do, treat it with drugs. And so when he joined forces with Neolife, his dictate was that we had to have this based in, in science. So we could follow nature as the blueprint, but scientific you know, expertise had to be at the forefront. And so we pretty much handed the destiny of our products over to science when he joined Neolife, which we are very, very proud of and very pleased to have, have happened. So bearing in mind that what our philosophy is, based in nature, backed by science, and using nature as the blueprint, that's what we're going to launch off from tonight. So I think happy and healthy children will start with a happy and healthy pregnancy and a successful one. You know, it is hard to believe that we were all babies at one stage. And um, in fact, we were just a, a whole series of rapidly dividing cells. And um, we are made, in fact, at conception, these cells divide, and there's really no stopping them. We are, we're simply made of all these millions of cells that differentiate and then actually um, specialize in, into different organs. And so we use this little graphic um, to actually show what we mean about it. it's a very simplistic one, but it's what we actually talk about. And we always refer back to this little, this little picture of the cell because it actually shows us what it is we're talking about and what it is we're actually dealing with. So um, some of, you know, to make sense of it, I want to just perhaps look at what we need in terms of nutrients for our pregnancy. And of course, you know, reproduction is a natural part of the, the human life cycle. And so, we can be prepared because it is a phase that very often we are planning around. Perhaps you're right in the middle of developing your family and perhaps you've already had a pregnancy, but wherever you are in that sort of phase of your life, um, we can be more prepared or at least 
fully equipped and understanding of what our cells and our bodies actually need. So let's look at some of the nutrients just as a, as a launching point. We, we, we have a higher requirement for protein and that's pretty much because protein is the dominant nutrient group. It's, it's almost the common denominator in, in our whole body. Structurally, you know, we need muscles, hair, skin, nails, they're all made of protein. We have functional proteins as well. So they, they are enzymes or hormones or antibodies. We even have proteins that simply transport other nutrients around. You know, even our thoughts become a protein. So it really is the common denominator in the body. So it's, it really is a crucial part of the, the nutrients that we need and is a crucial food group. We also, of course, need a variety of different vitamins and minerals. And I think we've all sort of heard of different ones being bandied around. And I just thought I'd just, you know, give you a little brief um, list of what is required and why. So, it, it, you know, it kind of makes scientific sense and common sense. But um, what we need to realize that the mom or the mom to be, she is the supermarket. And so everything that is needed by this little developing fetus is going to be taken from the mom. And so that's why her diet is extremely important. And, you know, these little ones, they're survivors. I mean, sadly, some don't survive, but in general, they are, they are designed to survive. And so they will take the calcium. If it means that they have to get it from your bones and teeth, they're going to do it for their bones and teeth. So clearly, nutrients requirements for the mom is very, very important because they're going to obviously translate into a healthy baby and a healthy pregnancy. So clearly, if, if these nutrients are so important during pregnancy, then they must obviously have a bearing on, on, on growth and development after pregnancy, because after all, this is now a little human being who's been developed on these nutrients and now needs them for the, for the next phase, if you like. So let's look at this, because we're looking about, talking about nutrition this evening. Let, let's look at nutrition at the cellular level and how that, it influences our cells. And you'll see there a very distinct little picture. One is different from the other, and the distinction there, of course, is the shape of the shape of the cell, basically. Now, these this is, as I say, simplistic. There are billions and trillions of little cells that are microscopic. We don't see them quite so distinctly. And of course, they're not empty in the middle. There's a lot of things going on. It's almost like a little factory. And so you're going to have little offices and little warehouses and a distribution board and all sorts of factors going on inside that cell. And nutrients and substances have to get in. Produce is made and it has to be exported out of that cell. And of course, any little factory produces waste. So that's a sort of a little synopsis of what's actually happening in every one of our cells. And as I said, you and I and every little baby who's being developed is made of cells. So what is, what is important about the cell? Let's talk it through in terms of the structure of the cell, the needs for the cell, and of course, nutritional components. Well, the distinction between these two pictures is the shape of that cell. It's the, it's the membrane, really, that dark circle that goes around. That is a crucial component of how that cell is going to work. And that, that little membrane is actually oily. It's meant to be fluid and flexible and receptive, responsive to things that come its way. It is able to, to communicate with the cell next to it, give it signals, tell it what's happening. That, so it's a whole community. And that cell membrane is, membrane is pivotal to the functioning of that cell. So because it's oily, it obviously needs, from a nutritional point of view, oils and fats to actually feed it and make it work. Now, some of the oils that are needed there are what we term essential oils. We need them, but interestingly, the body cannot manufacture them. So we have to get them from our diet. So already this is a starting point where nutrition has a bearing on how we work and operate at the cellular level. Now, some of those oils, which are called essential oils, we could get from some of the grains that we eat, you know, the staple foods that we eat. Wheat that makes bread, for example, or pasta or rice. Some of these are staples that we tend to eat. And if I, if I use, for example, rice, which I think most of us have, have made or have, have in our homes at some point, that packet of rice that we buy, sits in our, in our cupboard for months and it probably sat in the supermarket for a couple of weeks. And the reason why it does that is because it's got, it has not got any oils in spite of the fact that when it's growing, it's rich in what we call rice bran oils. But our modern system, our food industry, 
have actually polished and processed that rice so that you and I can keep it in our cupboard for a couple of months, which is very, very convenient and it has a, a long shelf life. But they've sadly lost the oils that belong to that rice grain. And those are the very oils that our cell membranes actually want. So here already is a gaping dietary gap. Our cells need it, we can't manufacture it, and the food doesn't supply it, although we eat a fair amount of it. So we have to make sure that we, we look at this in, in terms of a dietary gap. Another oil that is needed in the cell membrane is from the family, another essential oil, but this family are called omega-3 oils, and many of you have probably heard of it. Uh, interestingly, again, we need these, but we cannot manufacture them. And the most efficient way that our body would be able to actually use and access these oils and, and from a dietary source is to get them from fish. But yet again, right around the world, in fact, it is quite well known that people are simply not eating adequate amounts of fish on a regular basis. And the recommendation at this point in nutritional science is to have at least two portions of, of fatty fish per week. So you'll hear I say fatty fish, it doesn't mean because you've fried it or because it has oils from the liver. There are certain fish that actually carry their, their fat in a liquid form, in a liquid oil, and they swim in very cold waters, and there are not too many of them. In fact, typical examples would be salmon, mackerel, tuna, sardines, and anchovies. And again, I don't think that all of us get those put on a plate on a regular basis in our homes. And of course, then our children also don't receive it. But from a pregnancy point of view, it's an extremely important nutrient because it goes from the mom through the placenta to the developing infant. And even later after, after birth, in fact, still goes through the breast milk. So a very, very important nutrient, important for the quality of the cells of this developing fetus, but also for the mom at the same time. Because I think we need to realize, I mean, Pregnancy is a, is a marvelous stage in our lives, and it's also a very natural stage, but it certainly puts its demands and stresses, positive stresses, on the human body. So all these nutrients have to be there for the mom's well-being, as well as the developing fetus, because both are made of cells. And of course, you, you saw in that list that there were some vitamins and minerals that were specified, and we get those from a variety of different foods, you know, all different food groups in some way, will supply some vitamins and minerals. But one of the important food groups that also provide vitamins and minerals are fruit and vegetables. Now, we've all heard that we're supposed to eat plenty of them and a whole variety of them. And I'm, I think, again, our plates are not typically sort of brimming with different colorful fruit and vegetables. But it's not only vitamins and minerals that we're looking for out of these fruit and vegetables, but other plant components that we call phytonutrients. Phyto meaning plant. And these, so these are not actually vitamins and minerals. They're in the same fruits and vegetables, but they, they play another part and they're, they're another group of, of substances, as I say, called phytonutrients. Now, one group that may interest you to, to realize that, in fact, are the colors in the fruit and vegetables, the pigment that you will find in a carrot or a tomato or a red bell pepper. They, in fact, are termed phytonutrients, and they are things we are quite interested in because it's the pigment or color in the fruit and vegetables that is a highly protective agent, and why we call them the protector nutrients. In fact, they're even in the fruit and vegetables to protect the fruit and vegetables, because they're also exposed to, to oxygen and pollution and various environmental toxins. So they protect the, the plants, and when we eat them, they protect us. And they get classified in, in, in turn into different families. So these colors have significance depending on their color. So for example, typically the red, yellow, and orange family of, of fruit and vegetables, their color or their pigment collectively is termed a carotenoid. Whereas the purple or bluish or those deep red and emerald green fruits and vegetables, collectively their pigment are called flavonoids. But either way, they are both protectors of the cell. And some work in different areas. Some work on the cell membrane. Other works in the watery areas of the cell and inside and outside the cell. So they are the protective foods. And that's, that's really where they get the name from. And just, just one other nutrient that I want to talk about in terms of those cells before we actually get onto the products and how we can apply this to our, our pregnancy and to our children are the cells that line our intestines. Because... Those cells play a very protective role. 
And interestingly, in our gut or our, or our digestive tract, our intestines, we only have one cell thick. So that's the difference, the barrier between the outside and the inside of the body. But cells have to be very, very, very good condition. They have to be well lubricated, well fed, and that is influenced very much by what we eat and very much influenced by the pregnancy and the diet of the mom. Because those nutrients are going to pass from the, from the developing fetus through the, through the birth canal at the time of delivery and even through the breast milk at the time of, of feeding. So those are just some of the foods that are very, very important that I'm going to now talk about and how they're going to, how it is that we can actually fill some of those dietary gaps and how New Life have gone about doing that. So it's the oils, it's the protein, it's the fruit and vegetables, it's the, the nutrients that we would need in our intestines. And so we will, we will move from there onto some of the different products. But just let's look at what is actually happening once that little infant is actually born. I mean, there is exceptional growth and development. And then again, of course, all those nutrients that were needed during development as the fetus is now are just as typically necessary um, in this stage. Exceptional nutritional demands. And you, I mean, we can all see it happens before our very eyes, how these little ones grow and how much they have to learn in this very short space of time. They really are like little sponges. And we have to give them the nutrients to enable them to do that. You know, while they're trying to focus on developmental things or motor skills, they're also growing. So all those nutrients need to be there on demand. So let's look at some of those products now more specifically. And I made mention of protein. So I want to just introduce you to some of the protein products that we have. New Life Shake and Nutri Shake. And of course, yes, there are, there are many shakes on the market. And what we've done is put high quality protein into a powder form. So why should I use Neolife's product? What, what makes it different? And there are some very distinct differences actually that our scientific advisory board have specifically um, developed and, and put into place because this is what makes the difference. You can see typically the difference there is the quantity of protein. So that's one of the main differences between the two ranges of products, but they come in three different varieties. But let's talk about what constitutes a high quality complete protein. You know, as I said, we're made of protein. So if, for example, we were to cut the skin or perhaps graze it or even burn it, we would want to repair that area or the skin so when the skin is made of protein. So the foods that we eat, with the proteins would have to make their way to that site and repair that, that area. And of course, just maybe I'm stating the obvious, but just so that we get an understanding of what we're talking about when we, we look at the nutrients in these foods. The piece of chicken, for example, that you might have eaten, yes, it's rich in protein, but it doesn't find its way once you've eaten it to your skin or the little, little burn on your skin as a piece of chicken. It actually obviously gets broken down and digested into its component parts. And the things that make up that chicken as a protein are called amino acids. And so that's what we're actually interested in. The quality of the amino acids, a combination of amino acids. You'll, you'll see the number there is 22. And I suppose the way we could draw an analogy or comparison would be the letters of the alphabet. You have, a, you, know, you have letters of the alphabet, and because you have that number of letters, you can make an almost unlimited number of, of words. And that's exactly what we talk about when we talk about a complete protein. We need to have all these 22 amino acids so that the body has them on a nutritional level, so that it can manufacture and synthesize many, many more combinations of proteins that we might need in the body. So that's why we talk about amino acids and that's why we put a number to it. But what makes a distinction between in the Neolife products and perhaps others on the shelves is that although, yes, 22 is, is the number, I haven't seen another product on the shelves that actually has all 22. Now of those 22, there are nine that are considered essential, which means when we use that word essential, I use it when I talked about fats just now, the body needs it but can't manufacture them. We have to get them from the food that we eat. Of this 22, there are nine that we specifically need to focus from our foods. But it's a bit like saying, well, I'll give you the nine letters of the alphabet and the others are around somewhere in the room and, and you'll be able to find them and then you can make some more words. We don't leave any of that sort of chance there. We make sure that we give you the, the essential nine and all the 22 amino acids that are needed to make all the others that the body requires. Because it, let's think about it, at this stage, when I was telling you about this exceptional growth, we can't wait for things to be made and manufactured. So much is happening. We want to have them ready on demand. 
So we put all 22 into this product. And so the body, whenever it needs anything, whatever it might need, it is there ready to be made. So our little alphabet, if you like, is fully fledged and it's, it's ready for use and ready to make whatever's required of that growing body that very fast and rapidly developing little human. A very important feature also of this is not just a protein product, this actually is a combination of a whole lot of nutrients that could even make up a meal. And what we've been very specific about here is making sure that when we, when we eat it, and you can see they're delicious flavors, and they look all nice and sweet and tasty, which they are, but we have regulated that sugar response. And we've made sure that when we do eat it, yes, it's pleasant, yes, it does give us energy, but it doesn't spike our sugar. Because that's going to influence the way we behave, the way we concentrate, our mood, um, and, and our, our level of hunger. It's going to make us constantly hungry if we're constantly spiking our sugar. So that is definitely a requirement, and it's what we call glycemically controlled. And that's actually been tested and, and verified. And of course, in this day and age, when we have all this convenience, I mean, you heard just about something like the rice, which we've you know, we've gotten rid of a very, very important group of oils just by making rice convenient to keep in our cupboards. To keep other foods in our cupboards and to keep things convenient, of course, what's happened? We've added preservatives, there have been sweeteners, colorants, and all sorts of modifications that have happened to our natural foods. And, and Neolife's passion is to make sure that we use nature as the blueprint. How does nature deliver these foods? And if we want to fill a dietary gap, let's follow that blueprint. So we don't use preservatives and artificial sweeteners and all these other undesirables, which is a very important feature and what really makes these products distinct from others that you're going to find on the shelves. And just, you know, just to give us some sort of value in terms of day-to-day -day use. Okay, right now, possibly things are a little different in our lockdown phase, but we're still having foods and breakfast is still very important. But I think when we get back to normality, when we go back to schools and things like that, Breakfast often gets sidelined because everyone's so busy. And I think you can just see from that list of, of things that I've put up there, these are, these are researched results that people have realized when children have a proper breakfast, something that, as I say, is not a sugary sweet um, cereal, for example, that, that satisfies them for the first hour. And thereafter they're tired and hungry and irritable. And it's not surprising they can't perform well at school. Um, so this is a very important, or could be a very important start to a day and extremely easy to put together. NutriShake tastes really delicious when you mix it with milk and it, so it's, it's really nice for the little youngsters. Um, Neolife Shake, equally tasty when it mixes just with water, but you can, of course, mix it with milk. So you get a whole lot of nutritional value out of something that is in a very delicious powder form. So let's look at some of the products that I've talked about and, and you know, the nutrients that I've talked about in terms of the products and how we've put them together. So many, many moms or parents will say, well, you know what, we give our little one a, a multivitamin and mineral. And we, you know, we think we're quite happy. It's at least covering all the bases. And of course, yes, a multivitamin and mineral will do a lot of good work. But you saw from those cells that I showed you earlier that nutrients have to be able to get in and out of cells. It's all very well being in the bloodstream, but they may never get through that cell membrane simply because the cell membrane is lacking in its structure and function. So distinct Neolife difference is that we've put the vitamins and minerals there in vita squares, but we've added what we call tree and N, and that is in fact a combination of all those grain oils I was talking about. I used rice as an example, but wheat is another example. It's not in our pasta, it's not in our bread. And what we've done is gone to those different grains that we eat as staples and put them into a combination which we've called tree and N. And so now what you have is a multivitamin and mineral that will enter every single cell as your little one swallows it. By to guard, and as the name suggests, it guards the body, it guards those very cells. And what have we done here? We've put the fruit and vegetables back in here. So we have highlighted some of the vitamins and minerals like zinc, for example, or vitamin C, which are well known for protector nutrients and they work on our immune system. But that gap that we, I think, was pretty clear in terms of fruit and vegetables, well, we've brought it back into the product and said, here's something with fruit and vegetables that will be a protector set of nutrients for your children. And then for the little ones, we've made a, a liquid version of pretty much a combination of these two. And we've put those grain oils and we've put the fruit and vegetables into a liquid form. So a great combination. And I think you can see a very distinct difference from what's commonly out there on the shelves. But let's look at each product individually just to get an insight. So a liquid vitamin supplement, 
It's got all the 12 important vitamins. It's got, of course, the trianin and the, the grain oils and the fruit and vegetables. And carnitine is something that we, the body needs to be able to get fats into the cell. Now, the reason why I mention that is because little developing children use fat as a source of energy. They use all the other nutrients like the protein and the vitamins to help them grow and develop. But they need energy, as you know. So the body favors the use of fat. And so carnitine helps the fat get from outside the cell, inside the cell. So I don't advise you to, if you're a little one like nine months, eight or nine months, when you're starting to bring in a variety of different foods, don't give them the fat-free options of the foods that you bring in. They need the fats to be able to use them as a source of energy. And that carnitine in the product is going to help them use it more effectively. Now we talked about Vita Squares and it's got all the vitamins and minerals and it's got the, the grain oils, but I want to just highlight for you some of the other amazing things that are in there. And as I said, we've brought the fruit and vegetables to life. We haven't put any added sugars and artificial colorings and flavorings and preservatives. We've used foods to actually do that. And this, just looking at those foods and all the colors that they represent makes you want to eat them because they are delicious. And they are easy to chew, easy to swallow, and your little one actually will love them. And what you'll have is a multivitamin and mineral with all the grain oils and a proper functioning cell that can use them to full advantage. And then VitaGuard, again, with the fruit and vegetable extracts. And these are the fruit and vegetables we went to. And you can see there are lots of bright colors in those mixed berries and the apricots and peaches. And these are powerful antioxidants, powerful protectors, which support the immune system of your children and protect the cells from damage. And again, these are chewable and, and kids absolutely love them because they, they, they taste like a real natural fruit, fruit flavor. So this is a very easy way to get all these nutrients in. And as I say, I think you can start to see the near life differences that we've not just put a whole lot of vitamins and minerals together. We've given a lot of thought to what is lacking in the diet and what we need to fill and how we can fill those dietary gaps for our little children as they develop. So those are the, the vitamin and mineral components that come from the different fruit and vegetables and provide some of the grain oils. But I did make reference to the fact that there were some other oils that were needed. And so these are the omega-3 family. And of course, there are many products out there on the market. In fact, the, you know, the shelves are creaking with all of these products. And I think it becomes extremely confusing to know which ones to choose. So I want to talk you through something that, that will make a lot of sense when we've, when we've got through the, the story. So you'll see that we've got it in, in two different sizes and we call it Omega-3 Salmon Oil Plus. So salmon is one of our main fish that we use it. But what we have done is we've made a smaller version. So this is to enable our children to take full advantage of the, the benefits of these Omega-3 oils. Remember, we, these were ones that went to the cell membrane as well. And they are very important for the development of the brain and the nervous system and the eyes. And remember, those have not fully developed when the baby is born. In fact, these are still developing. The brain is still maturing right up until adolescence. So it's extremely important that our children are able to access these um, of a good quality that will fill that dietary gap because if fish is not on the menu on a regular basis and not those particular fish that I mentioned, then there is a sad lack of these and it's going to have a strong influence on their growth and development, particularly on a mental level as well. So we've made a smaller version and just to show you the relationship, we've simply put that capsule that's Adults tend to take and we've simply put it into two smaller capsules and they're small enough for children to swallow and they are chewable. They're not a completely chewable product, but I know of many people whose children actually love to chew them. Um, but we have kept them in a capsule because we want to keep the integrity and the quality of the oil intact. So it's not a dissolvable chewable substance, but if you've got a very small child and you want to give them Amiga, then you can actually puncture that little capsule and you can simply squeeze the, the oils out of there. And make sure that you put it into, a, you know, into a, a portion that is going to be taken at that time. We don't want to leave it hanging around because you're going to then, you know, those oils are going to deteriorate. So that's the relationship of the smaller component to the larger one. But you'll see that we've called the product Omega-3 Salmon Oil Plus. And this is a very distinct feature and that number eight should be staring you right in the face because that's one of the crucial differences and what is very important in the human diet. This omega-3 family has eight different members. And, and that's, not, that's not a secret. It's scientifically proven as part of our biology. Neolife didn't invent it, but we acted on it. And there isn't another product on the market that actually represents 
all these eight members of the family in spite of the fact that it's well known and to be required for human nutrition. So the omega-3 family uh, represents these eight. Fish will give them to us. But we realized that just going to one fish is not going to do it. We went to four different fish for this product. So tuna, sardines, anchovies, and of course salmon as our dominant fish source. So that we could actually represent all these eight members of the family. And if the body recognizes them and fish will provide them, if we wanted to fill a dietary gap with a supplement, well, we have to provide it too. We want to use nature as the blueprint. We have to do just that. So we have gone to a lot of trouble, a lot of expertise, and a lot of technology employed to actually deliver all eight members of the omega-3 family. And these little graphics are just to show you that there are eight members. And the one in the middle is an indicator of what we expect to see of each member of that family in every capsule every time. And you might think, well, of course this should have the same amount in every capsule. Well, not so. You know, you can easily get some fish, squeeze out the oils, heat it and squeeze out the oil and plop it in a capsule. So today you might get a certain amount, tomorrow you might get double that amount in the capsule, the next day you might get half that amount. So those are not standardized. So this is a pharmaceutical grade approach and that's what we pride ourselves in so that we can use these products to do research. This particular product in fact has been researched and published in very prestigious uh, scientific journals to show that it's recognized and it has many benefits, all those benefits that the fish should be doing for the body. And just to, you know, just to highlight, you'll see that all those different names of the different eight components, don't try and pronounce them because they're mostly unpronounceable, but it's just to highlight the fact that this is real, they do exist, and I haven't found one other product on the market. In fact, we know there is not another one um, on the planet, actually, that has all eight components. The best I've seen out there is four different components. So it's a pity that when we're looking at supplementation that we don't get what nature intended. But you can be pleased that Neolife makes it a, you know, a passion of theirs to actually deliver things as nature, as nature decided. Let's just see what, what importance it is, because remember I said the brain is still developing. So it has a very strong influence on our cognitive skills. Right from in, infancy through childhood up to adolescence, this is the time that the brain is growing and maturing. And as it matures, these, these fatty acids actually deposit in the cell membranes of our brain, for example, but also our eyes and in our nervous system in general. So it affects our learning and reading and all our sort of scholastic skills and even our behavior. There's quite a lot of research to show that when children have got adequate amounts of omega-3, and remember they can start getting it from pregnancy. And that's where the mom comes in. She needs to have adequate amounts so that she can pass it through the placenta to the developing fetus. And I think what I want to point out here also, just in terms of moms, you know, maybe one is on one's first pregnancy, so perhaps young and well-nourished, but subsequent pregnancies, there's going to be, you know, some of those nutrients have been used up, the calcium's been used from the bones, perhaps. So we need to constantly replenish our stock in the supermarket, if you like, particularly if there's one's the second pregnancy or any other subsequent pregnancies. So, so don't let's forget that factor as well. And these omega-3 oils, the mom cannot make, so she has to get them from her diet. And in turn, the developing fetus is getting them from, from the mom. And as we are growing, we need them right through our life cycle, actually. But this particular phase, very important in this massive um, area of all these cells dividing and the development of the brain and all our cognitive skills. We talked about bones and teeth and getting the right nutrients, for example. I just want to quickly go through a couple of products just to show you what you need to be looking out for when you are replenishing your supermarket, as it were, and when you are watching your children grow um, at this rapid rate. So calcium and magnesium are minerals that are well known for bone development, for teeth development. And there's a fairly small window of time that, uh, that humans have to lay down maximum bone density. And so we need to make sure that as our children are growing, and let's face it, those bones are elongating, and they need more calcium and magnesium to help that happen. So we need to make sure that we receive enough of it and that it is absorbable. I think this is the challenge and I hope that I've highlighted that we are very concerned with the fact that the body recognizes nutrients, which is why we go to nature to understand how, they, how these nutrients work in the actual sources of these foods. So what does double amino acid chelation mean and why should we do it? 
Well, interestingly, even if we eat a, a meal or a food that is rich in calcium, for example, it doesn't mean that the body's going to absorb all that calcium. In fact, minerals are quite notorious for not being well absorbed. So if we look at a, a calcium molecule, for example, what we have done to make sure that we neutralize this difficulty of their absorption, and that difficulty is mainly due to their chemistry, what we have done is we have coated them, or protected them, with not one, but two amino acids. And remember, amino acids are proteins, so they are a natural component of the body and fully recognizable by the body. But what we have done is neutralized that, that chemistry and covered them with amino acids, or protected them, if you like. And that protecting or covering is actually called chelation. So that's what the word means, to cover or protect something. And we've done just not one amino acid, but two. And where this actually came from was Dr. Arthur First, the gentleman who started our scientific advisory board. Now, he was a toxicologist, a pharmacologist, a cancer researcher. And in his, in his times where he was looking for, for solutions and ways to prevent some of these diseases, he was working with minerals. And he realized how difficult they were for the body to absorb. So he actually pioneered this technology. And he brought it with him to near life. And so we were one of the first companies in the industry to have something that was chelated. And what he showed by doing this chelation, this double amino acid chelation, that those minerals would be potentially six times more effectively absorbed if they were chelated than if they were not. So that is why we are very proud of our chelated calcium and magnesium. And the magnesium is also chelated as well. So we have the correct balance of the calcium and magnesium as a ratio. And that chelation, of course, as I've highlighted, enhances the absorption of the product. So you don't have to go out there and buy huge quantities or doses and concentrations of calcium or magnesium. The fact is it's important that it gets absorbed. It's not about the size of the tablet or the capsule and, and how many milligrams. It's does the body recognize it and can it be used? And so what we've done there is put in some vitamin D. It has value of its own, but what it also does is helps, helps calcium to be absorbed. So this is a very, very important set of nutrients and a very absorbable component in our diet if we choose to, to fill it. And then just to finish off, I was talking a little bit about the, the intestines and the cells in the intestine and, and in our gut and digestive tract in general. And so I want to talk about these, what we call probiotics, which are actually bacteria. And while some of you may not realize it, we're actually we live with bacteria and they live with us. They live inside of us, they live around us, they live on our skin, and we need one another. And so we need to look out for one another. And so where do we get our bacteria from? Where do we, you and I, get our bacteria from? Well, we get it from our mom. She has it and through the process of a natural birth. She, these, these bacteria of hers will then pass onto the infant and it will also, they will also pass through the breast milk as she feeds the baby. So if at all possible, a natural birth is ideal, breastfeeding for as long as you possibly can this first few months. This way you'll be able to transfer your natural bacteria from yourself to the to little developing infant, a little baby now, um, who was living in a sterile environment, didn't have any bacteria. This is the only way that they will receive them. And so they're extremely important that we set up the environment in their gut and in their intestines um, which sets the scene for the rest of their lives. Once they've received them from the mom, then the foods that they eat will actually determine which of them dominate, which of them you know, are better than others, what the colony of bacteria are going to look like. And so we can influence them particularly um, for the diet and the foods that we eat and in a very powerful way, in a very quick way. But where we get them from is actually from our moms at the time of birth and through the breastfeeding process. But I just want to, highlights some of, again, some of the near, near life distinct features that make this product so very, very unique. Remember I said also that those cells of the, of the gut are only one lining thick. So they have to be in good condition. And these bacteria um, break down nutrients and they actually feed those cells to keep them strong. Because any gaps in those cells and nutrients or substances will get through the cells of the little gap and into the body and that's where things like allergies start to manifest. So we need to make sure that these bacteria live inside us, we've got plenty of them and the right combination, and that they will then look after those cells, because after all, the whole evening we've been talking about cells, and these are very important ones to look after. 
So how do we know that when we swallow this, this capsule, that in fact it's going to get there and start working with our cells in the gut? Well, we've made a good job of making sure that we target this delivery. We've not only got an outer casing, which can dissolve and possibly does in the, in the, in the gut, you know, in our stomach, because it's very, very acidic. So we want to make sure that these little bacteria, which are dehydrated, they're alive, but they're dehydrated and they're packed in, five billion of them are packed into each capsule. We want to make sure that they get through that acid and into our intestines, because that's where we want them to be delivered. So we have a very unique concept here, which we call gel guard. And what we've done is we've, we've used food starch, some carbohydrates, and what happens when, if the, if the capsule dissolves, then when this is exposed to the acid, it simply sort of solidifies, if you like, it, it sort of makes like a matrix, and it, it protects all those little bacteria that are sleeping inside there, and enables them to stay there safe until that little matrix is pushed further down the intestine, you know, to the place where it's supposed to dissolve in a better environment, and then it releases all these bacteria. And now they are expected to go to work. Well, they've been asleep, they've been dehydrated. And another little clever thing about this product is that we have put a little bit of carbohydrate, a sort of a, a natural food sugar, if you like, in amongst the bacteria so that when they wake up, they've got a cup of coffee. They've got some nutrients, like a little bit of putt course. This is okay, just before we expect you to wake up and go to work, here's some food. So this is an unbelievably amazing little product that is jam-packed with all the right bacteria, gets to where it's supposed to go, and it makes sure that the bacteria start working because we need these little bacteria in our intestines. Our moms need them so that she can transfer them to her little baby. And our little, our children also need them, especially if they are having a problem with digestion or um, eczema or any sort of allergies. They need to make sure that we are focusing for them on their bacteria. So. What to look out for is you must obviously have live bacteria. They should be whole food derived. That's our whole message tonight. Let's see what nature would have done. Let's deliver it the way nature would. There should be a variety of different types and obviously concentrated enough. I mean, five billion is a pretty good concentration. And we wanna make sure that they get delivered where they're supposed to be so that they can get to work and do a good job in making sure that those cells of the intestine are going to be looked after and that the whole digestive tract and whole digestive system is going to be favorable as your little children grow. Now, this is quite a lot of information and we've put it all together in a, in a very handy little um, brochure. And so that in fact, um, you can find out bits of information regarding how much to take. You know, the classification, if you like, of when you change your nutrient concentration is, is categorized by, let's say from birth to one year, and then the next, the next phase of nutritional requirements is between one and three years, and then between four and eight, and then nine and 13. So those would be times in a little one's development where the concentrations of some of these nutrients might need to be looked at. And that will help you to decide the concentration of how many of the tablets or how many teaspoons of the liquid you would be giving. But this little booklet or little pamphlet actually gives you all that information and, and it guides you along the way. So it is available in a few are interested in having it and you're a guest looking in, it can certainly be um, sent to you, you know, through the computer or it can be um, given to you as a little brochure and that's where distributors can actually find it. So there's lots to have shared and um, a lot of information to digest, but I think, I hope the message has come through that in fact, we are doing things based in nature, backed by science, fully understanding of how this little body is, is developing at a fast rate. And I, and I do believe that, that new life can actually assist you by filling the dietary gaps and helping your children reach their full potential. Thank you. Fantastic, Liz. Thank you so much. Let me just get this up and running. Liz, thank you for joining us tonight. I so appreciate that, openly sharing this information with us. I know our lives and the way we do business has been, have been hugely disrupted and changed over the last few weeks, but I just think it's fascinating through technology, you were able to share this incredible information with, with over 700 mothers and fathers tonight. So thank you so much, Liz. We really, really appreciate that. To our guests that are on the call with us, um, thank you for giving us your time. I trust this information has been of value and will make a positive difference to you and your children. I just want to, I know a lot of questions have come in on the chat, which unfortunately we're not, we're not going to get to tonight. 
Uh, but I just want to encourage you to reach out to the person who got you onto this call. Uh, they will be able to answer your questions. If they can't, they will be able to get through to somebody who will get the answers to you. Uh, but more importantly, they will, they will help you get your hands on this nutrition and get this nutrition into your home and, and into your kids. And I will, in the, over the course of tomorrow, I'll be emailing every one of you with a, a replay link to this call. And I, I've got a big favor to ask every one of you. If you learn something new tonight, or if you heard information which you believe will be of value to somebody that you know, I'm going to ask you to share it with them. Uh, we don't sell our nutrition in retail stores. Uh, there's no ways we can get nutrition of this quality direct to the end consumer through a retail store. So we get our nutrition to people like you and I into, into our homes through people. And so I'm going to ask you just to, to join us in this mission and to share this information because I truly believe this information will help us make this world a healthier and a happier place. So I just want to wish you all a fantastic Wednesday evening, a very blessed week, and I'm sure I'll catch you all online very, very soon. Thank you very much all. Thank you, Liz. Good night.